Welcome everyone to another quick video. I previously run here Risk Five stuff, of course, on our FPGA, and we did other FPGA low level stuff, right? Previous videos, and I actually overlooked that the main reason I added 32 bit Risk Five support for our uh, otherwise unmatched uh, sorry, so Steam Deck on the box of the unmatched Risk Five. But anyway, Risk Five desktop, right? Um, soft float, right? You, usually when you synthesize um, CPUs, of course, usually you don't need a floating point and you rather want to save uh, those precious gates and uh, logic elements for other things in your FPGA. So let's wire up soft float. I did not build that, right? So the usual, let's do that live here. For risk, we had recently, I think, improved that, right? I actually, we did some risk five for it. I don't quite, I mean, usually we don't build this with soft float. Actually, on risk five, we made sure previous video was it up to 40% faster floating point stuff. Um, and now we do kind of the opposite of actually making sure this soft float also works. Um, I've not never done that before um, for risk five. And that hopefully is one. Maybe it builds smoothly, maybe it doesn't. So what we need for that, I looked into the glibc. It looks like glibc would support that. So then we also need to, I basically checked their configure. Um, let's see if GCC also has some float ABI flag. That is a little bit annoying thing that for all the architectures from ARM to Spark and everything in between, um, MIP certainly and, and RISC V. The options are different. They is somewhat similar, sometimes the same, but, but often often entirely different options or differently named or different semantics, different defaults. So let's check what we have here. So do they have a pre no ah, no configure? Mm. Do they have any pre -comp? I don't have any. Um, F1 configure. Well, what was the naming convention? I forgot the time. So, was it all in this? Because in glibc they have pre conf and configures in the subdirectories. So, what do they have here? Checking linker, Linux, Relux. White, um, risk five, fiddle warnings, LDS, attribute, risk five attributes, just some, um, maybe I should have checked for float though. What was it for? Um, it was, I think, I just checked that a second ago in float. So we need to configure, of course, everything correctly. So what I, I need to do is the quirk and, and wire up here some configuration and welcome everyone. And um, what was a float with float? Actually, maybe we simply search for soft. Uh, so float with float hard. Um, that is actually not here. Interesting grip with float. There are some floats. Are oh, there are some configs actually in? Okay, ARM has that. Oh, there's also config GCC. Yeah, would be amazing if all the free software foundation. GNU projects had similar naming and make file stuff like yeah. Because this is where you always need to uh, grab where each project is hiding, hiding those settings. This float, they have that here. So C Sky. Okay, maybe we check here for risk five then. Um okay, they have here Arch Tune, either spec. Excellent, all the, the regular stuff. 
attribute odds target oh with abi maybe abi also in the future and um, that is a little bit annoying thing in risk five due to the i would not say openness but due to the um optional um all, all the optional either things somehow just at the start of risk five we have already this wild west of either is like uh, extensions not only 32 64 128 bit but um i am a cfd v and so on extension stuff so we probably in the long term need some extremely crazy um so this is even generating some arch canonical noise with python thing there so, um, so yeah, in the long term we probably need some very complex, flexible, uh, RV, whatever stuff. Um, because theoretically, we even would want for the, theoretically for the FP, I mean, I usually build my FPGA stuff with compressed extension, um, except when I don't, so probably we, I'm, I'm not even sure what to do there, if we should have an option list of RV, um, R, sorry, it was 64, ADM or if some option like flexible enabling extensions like Atomic and I'm not like compressed, I'm, I'm not totally sure there. Um, so what I basically want to find out what kind of options they have here for a oh, multi generator, yeah, that is also crazy stuff. Hmm. I don't immediately see here some soft float thing. Maybe we simply, or it should be R, V, D, G, E. So if R, V, 32, E, so E is, I think, embedded ILP. Was it embedded? Uh, there. The complexity starts. The thing is, before we figured out how we want to configure the compiler, we can't even um, start building. And due to the complexity, maybe we um, maybe even Google. If we don't immediately find the TL support, we should welcome everyone, check the comments. I thought about Asha Linux work on the Mac ecosystem. Um, my thoughts, I mentioned it a couple of times, you're probably new to this channel, which is amazing. You probably want to share, like, subscribe that. I, I mean, in general, it, it's, it's an amazing achievement. I mean, it's not a Linux distribution, right? It's just a project name of getting all these uh, patches. It's a monument, uh, monumental achievement. Amazing work, certainly the best of uh, the hackers and open source ecosystems there, Hector Martin and all the um, anonymous, um, is it Asai Lisa, Lina, Lisa, um, and um, Alisa Rosenzweig, I think, plus minus name variations, I can't remember all names, I'm sorry. Um, amazing work. Um, I would personally not, I mean, I'm personally not doing that because I wouldn't, I mean, I, I actually, in my initial live stream, I estimated it takes 10 years. I expected like some hobby people at home reversing that. So my estimation was in 10 years, it will work amazing. So they are basically two years and it works mostly. Um, I expect that with the 10 years of everything to work amazing, I mean, they still have stuff to do, right? All the nitty gritty fine details and GPU stability and everything upstream. But um, it, it, yeah, it, it's amazing um, speech and breath, breath, breathless. Um, I can, can only applaud them to this achievement, certainly. Um, not sure if it was mostly Hector Martin of Makan who did this mini uh, mini is a hypervisor, right? This M1N1 
Mini, I think hypervisor is included there, right? Certainly amazing reverse engineering infrastructure, um, amazing stuff, but that is certainly what is needed to reverse engineer all the Apple Silicon stuff at this speed. But so I, I personally, I could have, I mean, I'm live streaming literally from an M1 Max um, MacBook here, right? Um, for reasons here in my home office uh, for video encoding stability. I had a previous video, I already test booted T2 Linux native there. I, I run this here in QEMO, so that is QEMO on macOS. Um, I personally did not invest into this because nobody pays for that, right? I already do so much for 25 years and I did not want to put my personal time into making Apple richer and selling more devices. Well, the hardware is relatively good, some closed nitpicking and, and quirks and features and, and so on. But anyway, as usual, the, the problems with these questions, if I answer them properly, then it's like three and a half minutes for that. But yeah. I hope that answers the questions. If not, then... Uh, so we have here some uh, risk five soft flow ABI. What is there? Enablement there. Soft float. So, so basically what I try to figure out is what is the right switch to use here to enable that. Oh, I grab here somewhat in soft float. I could probably check Claire's building GCC, build GCC, risk five soft float ABI sometimes when we need to Google. Um, Maybe we simply build this mArch. Uh, what would that even be? RV32i. Although we need A4. Um, uh, I is integer. All right. So we, what even is risk 5 e RV32e was E embedded for some base integer. Let's even call this embedded. So this is I, maybe M. It's a smaller I core design, the upper 16 consume around one quarter of total errors. Core excluding memories, what the heck? Reduces integer, ah, oh, what? It reduces integer account to general purpose, which is this, oops, it is not what I wanted. Mm. E, so yeah, E is kind of short for embedded design for, so a reduced version of RB32. And the thing is, I read this a year ago, but even with so many things I do, even I at times uh, forget the details. Okay, so that is not what we wanted. So that is for, ex my, maybe we could support this, not sure if glibc has support for that. Um, but then, so, okay, this is probably G then for general. Instruction listing. So the question is, does it have compressed general purpose either? Preview to G. I am, so that is integer, multiply atomic. Okay, that is actually too much because we don't want FD. Um, uh, so many options. And that is exactly what I meant earlier with, yeah, there's some options. RV32G, what else do we have here? I am, so we probably generate code for given either, for example. So I is integer, uh, multiply, right? Um, so we want something like I am A. Um, and that is a crazy thing. That is what I was wondering how many options because um, for now, so mArch, let's try that. Uh, maybe we should check if they even support this. I mean, we can test build that and then see how it oops, goes. So they have here TF Multilib RV32 IMA. C, so they have here sci five. So I'm not using those cores because most people will not use the sci five sci five cores, especially if you do your FPGA stuff yourself. Um, which is why I would not even want to start to name them like that. 
Right now, anyway, RV32i is an integer multiply atomic compressed. Oh, this is rocket, apparently. Yeah, so also more comments so flawed because cores do not have hardware best loading capabilities. Right, hello. Um, so the big commercial ones, of course, have, so that is for soft load for soft core. Like if we, um, I actually wanted to have my whole T2 system on my own FPGA stuff, um, and certainly for me and my customers and friends and family and you playing along at home. So let's hack that for now. So architecture risk five. Let's also copy here some, let's say Spark doesn't really matter the most. Um, Jesus. This will be a hot hack for today. In the future, we need something else. So basically, SDE, what was it? Soft float. So later, that should be. some other generic selection, which I'm not yet sure what I want to use there. Um, insert, it was mArch. So I hot hacked that for a test. It makes no point to implement their 20 crazy selections when I'm not sure whether that will build. Oh, actually, I should probably check if that is the right option name, soft, was it with, with space or actually without space, so much to... Oh wait, also that needs... Theoretically, we should never let GCC to default to something random, so otherwise it should be RV32G or whatever. Um, but for for now, I will don't want a last minute. It's already too much last minute stuff. I rebuild T2 three times for various updates, fixes, quirks, and like new Firefox, Rust, and Linux kernel. And enough is enough now. So this will be the last change, actually, basically because last minute I. I actually noticed like, wait a second, I wanted to run this on my FPGA, so that we need. We should probably also check, I have here a bootstrapping hack, which we need so often for glibc. And here, so, um, ah, here, actually, um, so we probably want to refactor that a little bit, um, which by the way, we already built. So yeah, that was a fail. So basically we probably, is that it's on the function, so yeah. We are right, we don't have, actually we have, we probably could generate that. So otherwise we would need to define here a variable um, for the bits because we only have pointer size, but we can do aromatic and shell. So that is arch. Either size of inch, oh wait, oh no, actually in this, in this wrong, either long or we directly use pointer, sharpie, and multiply that. Best with all typos. So yeah, that works. Um, the benefit of that is then we don't need to conditional, conditional there because um, we need another one now anyway.
And this is not a premature, it's not for performance, it's just to... Somehow this, something is strange happening with this bloody terminal on macOS. So usually in my office I live stream here from obviously my own Linux. And probably, and now that we... Now that Ashai Linux previous question has so much native, so which most things are not upstream, I think even the uh, Apple Silicon display controller and Rust based drivers. So if I would want to run T2 native now with super experimental stuff and then like good luck hot plucking HDMI and stuff. But yeah, I would need to run tons of custom next work in progress with IP and experimental stuff. So, but maybe I should because this is terminal or I should, I should just run another terminal because strange stuff is happening here that never happened before. Maybe new bugs here of, of this. Um, so what do we have Arch? Oh, this is, okay, this is 32. So we can get rid of that um, by using this expression. Unfortunately, we need it. Oh, wait, what is, what did we add here? Wait a second. Uh, wait, this is float long. Um, oops, it is actually, uh, we can't simply. Um, okay, but float length, okay, we can at least do one. So what I wanted to do is get rid of too many conditionals because I thought this has um, double. So let's calculate that one and the FLAN, um, I'm not sure what was software floating point, what should that, that would then depend. Uh, what I just looked into the glibc configuration conditional, what was there? It was was it double or floating point? Maybe we need 64 bit here after all. Let's actually, we could try with that for software floating point for doing double in, I'm not sure if that is needed. Um, we could, however, try, so we need atomic in any case. So it's a little bit long line, but it's what kind of at the end. And so that we can put into this conditional here. And then the only question is maybe we should actually, so this is if, probably should uh, reread the source code there. I had this here somewhere. It was glibc, this steps, risk five, that was, was it pre-configure or what was it checking here? It was, uh, Eflin, so where was it complaining? Unable to determine, so excellent, we need obviously, what was here with this? Okay, so 32 bit, it doesn't do. Um, okay, it needs an Eflin, otherwise it errors. Um, so it needs double, it does, glibc does not yet support float, like single precision only without double extension. Um, but soft it does, ABIF lens, so where does it float ABI? There was float ABI. So maybe, where does it get this from risk five? So it grabs the compiler for float ABI, yeah. Okay. So that means we don't, so this is why I checked this, pro tip always checks the stuff so we don't need to conditionalize the stuff because right now we need that. Um, did it need, wait a second, but I think it, Yeah, so much too. Flow 
offload ABI soft. Uh, what, what was it? Wait a second. Was it float, float ABI? So that should yield soft single double. Um, did we even define double? What did we define there? Float ABI double. Okay, so we either need, so we need to condition like that for the, oops, ah, shit. VI illness of pressing some keys and losing your code. SDE config soft, what was it together, right? Soft float equals one and do that. Should we probably new line here for readability and then that or So we need to YOLO that because they, as you see, grabs the compiler. Otherwise we would need to patch this. This is a little bit, we don't have a compiler yet, right? So it's a little bit chicken egg stuff, the stuff that we need to patch here. Um, was it soft, right? Was it just soft? Soft single double. Um, so soft float and that var append. Best with CPP flag there. We also need to make sure that that actually is the right support. I would hope GCC automatically sets this from MRG RV32 IMA. I guess we can continue the build. Let's see if Gypsy correctly. Did something. Let's check the log file. Excellent. Insert. Excellent 32 atomic FLN float ABI soft, just what we wanted. Uh, I do the soft. Echo stuff. Uh, okay, I guess they probably grabbed that somewhere there because otherwise. I guess it wouldn't be in the lock here, probably. So now it takes uh, just a while. Uh, we could double check. So we use insert there. Is it the right? Uh, because we have here code for with. We generate it here somewhere. Um, Okay, we use both, that is what I wanted to check. So actually I did this smart enough to GCC wrapper insert and depend. And then with mArch, so it has a chance to work. So even, I mean, it doesn't take that long to build. The question is, should we live stream all? Question there, do I like using comic code? Yes, I do. Um, in the beginning it was a joke. But I like that um, it, it's actually more readable, believe it or not. I tried many fonts over the years and I like this the most. I'm, I'm not even sure if there was a Sun 
open firmware or so font. It, I think the Sun font, I actually did not like the very most. Of course, when you Google it, you don't find it. Maybe just Sun. Actually, there is a Sun font in the Linux kernel. Uh, I think it might have been, uh, of course, when you like, like, yeah, download T2 with Spark and, and boot it in Qt and stuff. Um, it might be a little bit similar. And what I really like, what I, I didn't expect to like it, but what I really like for me, it is um, more readable because the, the, the designer of the font is probably right that due to the letters, I think like nearly like, like no letter except acute and accent, circumflex grave and stuff and German umlaut and stuff, I think the fonts, no other glyph are the same um, with like this de de detailed styling there. And I have to say it, it makes it really more readable. I didn't expect it that, but this is why um, I like it more than I expected. Again, it, initially it was a joke when I saw this comic code scrolling by, but I unexpected. That's often a thing, right? right? Try try some random stuff, maybe some other Linux distribution, maybe some Redux OS, maybe another CPU architecture or whatever. But yeah. Um, what's my what's my opinion on the font Calibri? I'm not, I don't even know this generic fonts, was it? I, I, I probably didn't use it the most, which variant of what is that? Um, I used code, was it code pro or stuff from, I also used, I used, a, of course, usually I used, for decades I was allergic to commercial fonts. It's it's ironic that open source and everything, I it's a commercial font, and, but it's good and I like to support good outstanding and, and, and small independent and stuff people. Um, so I, I certainly used all those open bitstream Vera and also source code. I mean, Adobe has source code pro, which I tried. I mean, the, all the fonts are good, right? You don't need to pay. You can use source code pro, JetBrains, whatever, Mono. I used them all. They are all, they're all good, but I, I like this. Like not that repetitive and individual glyph style and stuff currently. Um, yeah, but again, just use Source Code Pro, uh, JetBrains, Mono, whatever, and all. There's certainly hundreds of other. So yeah, so GCC build. Um, let's see what we, you see Epic thread wrapping through that here on this Ryzen 1750X. Um, memory more overclocked than ever, under vaulted and, and PBO curve optimized and stuff. Um, more than ever, let's hope it doesn't spontaneously reboot life on this channel. So yeah, coming coming sometime soon. I actually have, to, did I take it with me? Um, maybe I forgot to take it with me. Actually, yeah, probably. Um, I ordered a cheap um because they are few but like a, a, a few like low pin coin pin coin i said so already the other day low pin count why did i say coined coin i should stop playing my super mario low pin count ethernet transceiver um obviously i forgot to, forgot it in the office that has i think a linux driver uh, maybe some leaf in the comments below. We probably should go back to to do more low level and FPGA stuff as well. It uh, would be fun to do a like 10 Mbit or so Ethernet transceiver and FPGA stuff or so. Um, I, um, probably shouldn't shouldn't be too hard, right? Famous lost. I mean, sure, the first Ethernet probably was discrete TTL logic or whatever. So anyway, um, with uh, this, what was it? Um, Arch. 
with Arch RV32 IMA. That probably we could actually test that. I should actually test that. So we should test that our brand new Risk Five. I mean, and theoretically, I mean, there is so much to do, right? Don't forget to share, like, subscribe, Patreon, get to sponsor, YouTube membership, or stuff. I could like day and night work on details, right, if you have not realized, because theoretically I should try it, should we put all those RV32 IMA, whatever, GC, FD, V, I, Z, M, A, I mean, not only support all the stuff in config options, but put some of those in the Arch triplet potentially for better support for stuff. So let's see what we get by default with ADM, Miss Arch, hello C and then what float ABI either uh, grab I ABI no ah float ABI soft okay apparently we get that automatically um, and so it does a risk 5x oh wait if I wanted F line it doesn't have a flint for some reason. Um, float ABA soft mole. I wonder if we should define it then. Maybe we shouldn't. Not sure. What was the glibc code there? So maybe that is. I mean, it probably doesn't hurt. And we also only the defines we've seen earlier ten minutes ago. We only do that for the tool chain bootstrapping, right? Later we rely on GCC defining the right stuff, which is also beneficial for really making sure that GCC and GDPC are in sync and we don't overwrite their stuff. Uh, I just, I thought I remembered that slightly differently. Let's, but maybe I read the, oops, configure code wrong. Ah. <sighs> so step. Risk five for the pre -con Does it so? What does it do if it's, if an FLN is not set? Okay, then it's with FP conditional. Um, okay, so maybe that is then wrong. Apparently, it does. Okay, it does not error out. So the. This is, ah, okay, so this is like 128 or stuff. I was wondering why is there default, but okay, that is like if it's under 28 or other crazy stuff. Okay, fine. okay, let's see the next time I bootstrap that we probably want then to only do that if the float is not set. So let's. Maybe for readability, not use the short stuff. Because we know a little bit more. Also, oops. Yeah. Double and actually maybe in the beginning or hmm. do I want this in the beginning or I usually think about readability and stuff but yeah. it's probably fine if then else if we, we should do it um, So now it only needs to build and we will see how many regressions we have. And that is also like, not only the only constant is change and regressions, but also attention to detail and supporting all exotic combinations, right? In other distributions you would say, not accepted, won't fix because now nah, who cares about floating point ABI and soft float and stuff. But here in our channel, not only do we love all exotic vintage and retro, but also new FPGA soft core and, and stuff. Um, uh, so yeah, let's 
do I have? I don't know what this is. I press. I don't. I don't know what is with this bloody macOS here. I press Control C and I get nothing. I, I, like, I. I don't know what strange stuff this is. I never had that. I don't believe because this isn't even an old T2 Linux installation that I'm locked in here. So obviously I'm putting that on T2. I've like literally no idea what's what's going on with this terminal state here. It's really it's like don't use Apple's peak bugs. Use professional like AKA. One of the best Linux distributions, right? Obviously, don't delay, try. Just raw freaking plus, just raw asterisk plus some patches configuration to make everything just work. TM Linux today, did I clean that already? Uh, no, I, I somehow did, did strange stuff now. Um, clean, build, risk five. Let's do that again for Z and then. That might be it, plus some fixes. I have no idea what might error out. I'm. Do we build any soft float? Mm. Equals one in all those configs. Maybe not. So this might be. Yeah, it's actually. So not only if I would. I personally, like either I need. Um, unmatched risk five, right? For I wish it would be out of order, um, speculative, and vector extension and and stuff, but, uh, but at least somewhat performant. It's enough for Tetris and and, and, and DOS boxes. So. Um, so yeah, either high performance or soft core. I guess. I wonder if we would ever need thirty two bit risk five. Not soft core, right? I guess either it's probably like everything sophisticated will go um, 64 bit, obviously, right? And 32 bit is probably tiniest microcontroller uh, FPGA soft core stuff. And this is FPGA, of course, like you can have this. Why do I care? Um, SSDs, Wi Fi, um, GPUs. All the other power management controller stuff, USB, uh, scanners, printers, all the other fun stuff. So yeah, did we? So we yeah. So this configured already without that. So I expect that probably shouldn't have this FLN. Yeah, it didn't. So we didn't set this, and then it doesn't have this in the lock. And then we have was it float ABI. Soft, okay, yeah, so this GLPC bootstrap. So yeah, that's it for this video. Um, I have to go for dinner and um, stuff and enjoy the evening with my family. I hope you enjoyed this and learned something and an even probably more useful, amazing. And this is not only do I need that and my customers and hopefully you, but also it's testing, right? So we have no other such low and low performance soft float target right now in my 31 epic thread ripping Guinness, Guinness world record configurations. So all the other MIPS, ARM, Spark, Super H we built with hard floating point, hard floating point. So it's also a matter of testing the heck out of our T2, right? And it might uncover some other configuration and regression and bug marginalities of whatever might not build maybe somewhere libdrm or who knows what and so it's also testing testing the most testing and supporting even more microprocessor embedded configurations exactly what i founded t2 and my company 15 years ago and certainly um, testing is always good it's the only substitute for testing is more testing so have a good day or night don't forget to share like and subscribe patreon github youtube membership or stuff and uh, see you next time